Hello everyone, it's Loida. Now this video, I want to go over a few things regarding open houses and collecting information and talking to the people that come through. I got this question a while back from one of you guys that had mentioned that, you know, you're having trouble collecting the information and what do you do when there's someone that's interested in the home? How can I go about asking them if they're working with an agent or if they're qualified because, you know, if they're not, I definitely want to help them out. So hopefully in this video, I'm able to answer those questions for you. Now, first of all, I want to go over just a few tips in order to collect the information of the people that are coming in. If you are an experienced agent, you probably already know this, but for everyone else that's new and has never done any open houses, or perhaps you just got your license and you're gonna start doing open houses to try to generate leads, one of the tips that I suggest is definitely have a sign-in sheet. You know, and then people might be like, oh, I don't wanna sign in, I don't wanna give you my information, or I don't want you to call me and things like that. So in order to avoid that, have a little printout or just let them know whenever they're coming in, hey, you know, the seller has requested that anyone coming into the home check in for security purposes. And then usually when you tell them that, they'll be like, okay, so I'll just like sign in. And something that you could add or that'll help you collect more information is let's say you do have a notepad, right? You have the name, the phone number, or the email address. Obviously people, when they go in, they don't wanna be the first one that types it in if they are the first one going to the open house. So here's a quick tip on something that you can do. Before your open house, just put like two names, two random names, just make it up, make up a name, make up a phone number, make up an email. That way when the, the first actual person that comes to the open house, when you ask them to sign in, they'll see that, oh, okay, two other people already did it, I'm gonna do it too. People don't like being the first ones, but they'll go with the flow and when they see somebody else has done it, they're more likely to do it. And that's just the reality. Don't ask me why, but I'm just telling you this tip because it works and I want you guys to collect information. Aside from that, the next tip is, okay, how do I approach anyone coming in? Like, I don't want to feel like I'm on top of them or just asking too many questions. So something that you can do is just kind of see if they're by themselves. Obviously, if they're with an agent, you can't do much about it. But if they're there by themselves or it's a family walking through, just ask them, hey, how's it going? Um, are you guys looking for a home in this area? What do you think about this one? And they're going to answer you. And then you can just continue asking, okay, well, um, what do you think about this one so far? How long have you been looking? How soon do you want to move? Um, do you guys live in the area? And you just ask these questions, not like one at a time, like boom, 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 boom. But it's kind of like a conversation. See what they tell you, and then from there you can gauge it. You know, you can ask them, okay, are you guys already working with an agent? And they might tell you, no, we're not. We're just kind of looking. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah, not a problem. Now, if you have any questions, let me know. And then just kind of let them walk around. And before they leave, you can just ask them, okay, so yeah, I know you mentioned you weren't working with an agent. Are you guys looking to buy a home in the next few months? Or are you guys already working with a lender? And they'll answer your question and be like, yeah, we're, we're looking, but we haven't found anything. Uh, we're just kind of looking on our own right now. And then you can tell them, oh, okay, yeah, that's completely fine. Now, I'm sure you know that with an agent, you'll be able to have a better search for homes out there because sometimes I'm not sure where you're looking, but let's say you're looking on Zillow or Realtor.com. Some of the homes that are on there sometimes have already sold and I'm sure you wouldn't want to be wasting your time, right? So, I mean, if I would be able to help you, would you at least be open to to meeting with me one of these days to see exactly if I can help you find your home or just answer any additional questions on the process. And usually they'll say, okay, yeah, because they have nothing to lose. And perhaps they might think that they need to pay you. And just tell them, you know, everything is completely free. You don't have to pay me. If someone has told you you have to pay, that's completely false and illegal but I'd be more than happy to help you. I know this area very well and I have other coworkers and agents that work all over the area over here. So we can definitely see how we can help you. 
and then they'll be like, oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. So that, those are the two tips I wanted to give you guys, especially if you're doing open houses on how to collect information or just how, about, how to go about approaching people. Obviously, you want to be smiling and kind of like come off like you have a nice personality and not just like, are you already working with an agent? Oh, you are? No, okay. Or just like, because obviously people, when they see you, they're going to be like, oh, oh, she, she looks like she's fun to talk to or she looks like she's nice. You don't want them to be like, oh, that's just like another kind of agent. Just ask me a whole bunch of questions. <laughs> so there you go, guys. Hopefully this helps. Hopefully you learned something from this video. Um, I do want to invite you guys to visit my website, lawyervelasquez.com. I do have a blog tab on there that gives you a lot of information for pre-qualifying a buyer. And that's something that's definitely important so you don't waste your time. I've also done plenty of videos that I'll put on here and on the description below on working with buyers because many times I'm sure you've already ran into this where they tell you they want to buy and they want to be in their next home by the new year or blah, 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 but they never get pre-qualified or they just want to send you homes, but they don't meet their criteria. So these videos will answer your questions and tell you exactly what you need to do to have an effective consultation and be able to help your buyers in the best way possible. So that's it for this one, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.